Are you thinking about starting a lucrative career in data science or data driven domain? If yes, then you are at the right spot. Hi everyone, my name is Anirudh Kalbande. I am the founder and director at Fireblaze AI School and I'll be telling you about our program which is data science and machine learning certification program offered by Fireblaze AI School. Now we in this program aim to deliver the high quality of education in data science and all the related uh, technologies which will help you to become one good of an analyst. Now in this particular video or in this particular course, the entire structure is focused on making you industry ready. So the key skill sets which are required to become a data scientist, they have been a very separate and detailed video for all of this. You can check our channel Fireblaze AI School for that. And in this one, I'll stick to the core and insights about how we can, uh, how this entire program is framed. So the entire program of data science machine learning certification is aimed for six months. And in this six months, we'll be going across all the different technologies right from basics of python to eda exploratory data analysis machine learning sql tableau of power bi and projects within the domain the capstone project what we call it now the first the program starts with introduction to python we spend about a month in learning python as the program starts from very much scratch and in python we start by exploring all the different uh, entities in it like what are the different data types what are the different sequences like list tuple dictionary set how do we apply iterators how do we write loops in python how we give the conditional statements how user defined nl build functions are used once you know all of this you are ready with the basics of python and that will set as a foundation for working in all the technologies related to data science and artificial intelligence or machine learning as well. Now, once you know basics of Python, right? Once you complete all the assessment quizzes and the theory and practical sessions within this module, we'll be moving towards the direction wherein we actually jump into Python for data science. So for data science, you need to actually analyze the data and not just write the code. So for that, the main motto or the module name for this is called as data handling with NumPy pandas. Now what is NumPy and pandas? NumPy is an exclusive library for or within Python, which is for numerical Python. So all the entities wherein you would love to do with respect to a number like an arithmetic operation any kind of mathematical function like you want to use trigonometry you want to you want to find mean all sorts of those linear algebra or mathematical operations if you want to perform you can do them easily over there in numpy there there is exclusive data structure which is called as an array that helps you to perform all multidimensional arithmetic operations as well. So basically matrix operation and linear algebra could be handled within NumPy. And that's what we're going to be studying in the second module that is data handling with NumPy and Pandas. Now that was your NumPy. After that, Pandas is the core library of Python, which is used for tabular data handling. So once you have a tabular data, the data which is in the rows and columns format, that you need to exclusively work on and that that's what where you will be spending a lot of time right playing around the data finding insights changing columns say transposing it uh, like uh, fetching a certain column out of a data working around a row working around a column aggregating a data changing directions grouping it right renaming replacing so, so there are like a lot of operations which we need to do data manipulation data wrangling uh, data fetching data mining all this could be easily performed with this one library which is called as pandas but that too is in python once you get through this in this module 
then we shift our focus towards the EDA part. EDA is a very very important part of the entire program and that is called as exploratory data analysis which itself is divided into two segments one data visualization and another one is statistics statistics will help you to take decisions so there we'll be studying a lot of processes a lot of techniques to clean your data so once you have your data in your hand right you need to clean it because it's not always in its best form there are a lot of entities which are called as outliers there are a lot of unclean values or null values so how do we handle them what do we do what are the different techniques to do or play around them right we need to understand that that's what we're going to be doing in this eda module and on top of stats which will help you to do this we'll be doing data visualization so for that we'll be working around matplotlib seaborn and plotly with these three libraries you will be able to make wonderful visuals though it be with one variable two variable or multi variable so that's what is your univariate bivariate and multivariate analysis uh, once all of this being performed right your first module python your second module handling data your third module of uh, eda we go to the core part which is machine learning now machine learning itself is a very huge module and we'll again spend one one and a half month in doing so wherein you will be actually grabbing your insights about what machine learning models are machine learning algorithms are and then once you know the theoretical part we'll be applying them using sklearn library of python and we'll we'll be actually creating algos and then the entire life cycle of a data science project would be solved that is you will take a data you will clean it you will apply visualization to it you will you will apply your eda then you will apply your ml algorithms and then you will tune it so tuning is very important because it's not enough to just make a or or fit fit a model or create a model and then run it right you need to tune it you need to create a best robust model which could work around any kind of data right so that's what we going to teach you over here and once you have knowledge of all of this we will be jumping on towards how we can work with real industrial use cases so whatever problems we are facing right now right uh, environmental issues uh, the and geological issues all of them the data sets range from wide discipline right from healthcare finance automobile electrical and many more so we'll be working with lot of lot of data sets over here and creating wonderful use cases and projects within the domain so it's a very good one on one blend between theory theoretical sessions and practical implementation sessions which is what we follow in this particular course and then after doing this it's not enough right you need to have a very good understanding about a bi tool and a query language so a bi tool which you could use for getting your hands on could be either a tableau or a power bi so that exploration would also uh, we'll be helping you out with and then sql is also a very important and a crucial part as a beginner in the data driven domain so sql is nothing but structured query language what's your next module and in this particular module you will be working ab- uh, around all the data uh, fetching and the manipulating technique in the databases so a lot of times your data set is uh, not in a csv or excel format and to work around that you need to handle the database you need to know how you can create a database how you can create an entry over there how you can manipulate how you can fetch sort all those things writing a query and a sub query is a very important uh, task which a data analyst or a data scientist or a dbms architect does in his job role so that is almost like a, a heart of the role right so we'll be understanding that and with this you will come to an end where we'll be actually working on real life use cases uh, by learning the guesstimates on top of all of this right 
so 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 uh, i mean before we move ahead i'll just tell you the key skill sets what we we discussed or what we were teaching in the curriculum python sql tableau or power bi then machine learning eda and statistics after all of this right we'll be doing the projects and on top of it we also involve a lot of soft skill activities such as group discussions aptitude then mock interviews all of these are wind blended part of the curriculum so that student or the learner is not only good with the tech but he's also able to reciprocate the work what he has done and then there are multiple different assignments quizzes uh, mini projects presentations which are being regularly conducted as a part of a syllabus so it's not just the classes what you will be doing it's not just the uh, content you will be absorbing through the classes you will also be doing all of these while being a good industrial fit person and you will be the one who will be in demand you just need to give your 100% with us and you you should be good to go and that's what is our program and if you want to know more please check more on our website that is fiveblazeischool.in thank you so much for watching please like do uh, like share and subscribe thank you